What's up guys, it's BankReady here and today I'm gonna bring you guys another tutorial for Sony Vegas and last time I asked what you guys wanna see next and um, syncing was the most res uh, requested so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the method I sync with right now and uh, we're gonna start right here, I just drag the song in it's a song by Downplay, I'll leave it in the description probably and a new audio layer, a new video layer. Whoops. And then I'm gonna drag my clip in. This is an easy clip to sync, th so the tutorial doesn't get too long. So um, it's also just a quad feed, so I don't have too much to sync. And um, it's just a quick, so you get a quick idea of how my method of syncing works. First of all, um, you want to get markers to the beat of the song for that I always just play it and press um, the key button um, which sets a marker at every beat that the shots could go to so let's play this right here okay that should be enough you probably already saw there in the preview that the, sh the shots aren't synced properly yet because I just put the clip in um, and now we we can see right here the first shot is already on the marker go to properties and um, I think it's called normalize or something in the English version click this so the shots a bit louder um, that makes it a bit easier to hear it when you preview it or play it and now make sure that the first time or the first frame the hit marker shows up is on the marker and um, push it a bit to the side yep now it's gone so one frame to the left and there you got the first hit marker this can go a bit to the left the sound so it's on the um it's uh, synced perfectly to the song all right so the next shot should be on this marker but it's a little bit off. Um, some people would call this, uh, would say this is already synced, but it's not. So um, it's a little bit off. I'm gonna add velocity, and even if it was would be synced perfectly with this, I would still use my method to make it look better. So um, first of all, I always um, you uh, left click, double left click on the velocity line to make a new marker. Um, I make two one before the marker and one after the marker for 100% speed and then I make another one on the marker and pull that one up to 114 that just it's just a little thing I do to make the shot look a bit more powerful and let it be over with quicker and then I go to the next marker which the, the shot shouldn't be here but um, to make it look better you put a marker in front of the marker, uh, you put a um, dot in front of the marker, you drag this down to like 59, and then another one and pull it up to about 150 or 140. You can do that however you want. So now after the shot it slows down, slowly, and then at the next beat it gets sped up so in front of um, now just cut the audio here drag this or fade this out a little bit and drag this um, shot to the marker so it's already the audio is already synced properly now in front of the shot you want to set another marker right click and go to normal speed so this is at a hundred here in front of the shot and if you go to the marker now, you, you nearly got it synced properly. But, set another one right here, between these. Go on the marker with your cursor, uh, on the shot. Oh, that looks crap. <laughs> the recording uh, software probably failed, so... Um, with the cursor, go onto your shot, and then pull this one right here, down. Let's test this. Load. 
hit mark. It's, it should be the first frame with the hit marker on, so no, now it's gone. Uh, good, like 86. Okay, let's see. With this one, you can go forward one frame. There's the first hit marker. So a little, little bit faster, make it 93. Okay, make it a hundred. So now these shots are sync perfectly and look way better than before. If you play it, there you can see it sync perfectly. Okay, set another marker behind your shot and pull this up to like 114 as I did before. And then we're gonna go to the second shot, cut the audio again, drag it onto the marker so you got the shot synced already. And then you want to make it up here and here in front of the shot. This should be 100. And this you can drag down to like 95, uh, 59 again. Uh, you can also do 66, it doesn't really matter. As long as it doesn't go under 52, it's fine. Because then if you do like 30% um, and you've got a 60 FPS clip, then uh, the clip will be shown in under 30 FPS at this moment. And that doesn't look smooth anymore and it just was pretty shit for your eyes. So um, leave it over 50 with 60 FPS clips, that's always the best. And then set another marker and on this beat right here pull it up to about 140 again. And let's check on the shot. No, this is way too late. The shot's already um, been for a couple of frames, so you set another marker here, pull it down. We go back onto the shot with our cursor and check. No, this is a little bit um, before the shot, so we have to make it a bit faster here again. 86. Let's see. Go back a few frames. Okay, we have to drag it up a little bit, make it 93. And damn, why isn't it working? Make it 100 again, then it should be fine. Oh uh, no, it has to be slower. Okay, we have to make it slower, go to like 72. Uh, this is very time consuming. This is why <laughs> I kind of hate syncing because it takes up the most of the time for the edit. Probably, yeah, now it's fine. The first frame after the shot, uh, after the marker is the shot itself. The hit marker shows up, so that's fine. So we got the third shot synced, and now the second one's a little bit more complicated. Um, you cut the audio, drag this here and fade it out, and the shot goes on this marker. But now, um, same thing again, right here to 114. If we do the same thing again now, 59 in front of this one, 140 here, 100 here and drag this down a little bit. Then you can see the shot still not fired for like half a second. So this is a little bit harder. Things you could do now is um, first of all, because um, if you look right here, and um, the player or myself is in the scope very long. So you could cut out a bit of the scope. Just um, delete this one so the scope comes up a bit earlier. Right here. You cut the clip and you drag it about for like yeah, 17 frames until the hit marker appears. And then once it goes into the scope, he already shoots. But that looks pretty crap sometimes, especially with XPR clips, um, if they're a little sprayed or something. So 
Um, that's not really the best method, not something I'd suggest. You can also just um, go on this shot on the marker and drag up this one right here so it gets faster. But then when you play it, it's sped up a lot and that also doesn't look very nice. So what I sometimes do is I cut the clip right here at this middle marker between the shots, um, drag this down a little bit back to like 150, this as well, and then I drag, um, I delete a bit of this side of the clip, say like 50 frames, let's see, drag it back to the middle and go into the shot, yep, two frames again, and now it's the same, um, it's synced the same way as here, the shots before, and you just cut out a little bit in the middle. It doesn't look bad, he jumps forward a bit here, but if you put um, RSMB onto the clip and someone watches the montage, it, it's not really noticeable. So, um, this last shot synced as well, and just drag this out to the last cursor and for the slow-mo at the end we turn this down to like 66 and this to 52 so you got the quad feed slow-mo there and if we play the whole thing and if it doesn't lag in the preview we should see now yeah this is pretty much uh, synced perfectly to the beat of the song now um, sometimes you just have to play around with these a little bit, like drag it a bit more down or up and see if it looks fine. Because some clips are um, a lot harder to sync than this right here. And I know this method, method is very time consuming, but um, it looks very good at the end, in my opinion, and it's helped me a lot in the past. So um, if you've got any, any questions, I know this wasn't as easy. I forgot one right here. Um, I know this wasn't as easy to understand. It wasn't hard to. Uh, it wasn't easy to explain either. But if you got questions, um, ask me down below or message me on Skype or Twitter or something. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And tell me what you want to see in the next tutorial. I'm up for doing more of these. And yeah, I hope I could help you guys. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video with that sexy German accent. Bye.